crafters this is Suzanne from a creative muse and I am back at scrapbook.com again <laughs> but this time scrapbook.com clearance hello wow they have some goodies and some excellent prices and if you don't mind let's say a little Halloween or a little Christmas from last year and you get what you saw last year like I did but now it's new to me this year. I don't have to have this year's latest and greatest. I can use what I just got on super sale <laughs> for, you know, Christmas in July projects, etc. Alrighty, crafters, let's get started. First up, this came in my little um my little clearance package from scrapbook.com. And you know I love um scrapbook.com's exclusives, like their double-sided tape, their foam, their Slimline die. Now they have, you know, they also have their slimline stencils. Let me see what else. All kinds of stuff. Even storage. They're they're just expanding more and more and more. And I'm happy to see it because they always price it well. And then when they do put their exclusive on sale, it's like sometimes even lower than half price. So always keep your eye out on um, you know, scrapbook.com brand items as well, because they're really nice. This came, I cannot believe that I forgot to clean my craft room last night. That's five years in a row. <laughs> I was laughing when I saw this because my, my craft room, my actual craft room is what I call the craft dungeon. So that goes to show you right there. That's me. Anyway, the only thing that was not, that's in my order, which is a nice little pile again, but um, it's two clearance orders actually. I went, then I went back again. Because when you when you're when you're looking, their clearance section is like it's like shopping, almost shopping um, Ross or TJ Maxx. It's like 400, 500 items or or more. So it, it's a lot. But this was the only thing I did not get on clearance. But I just had to add it to my cart. I did use the five percent off over the holiday weekend, so I already got my package. Um, Colorado Craft Company. This is what I'm going to watercolor I know that watercolor video oh gosh yes 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 I am doing that watercolor video home sweet home super duper cute I saw examples of it and I saw it on a slim line and that was it this this was my one splurge huge six by eight stamp set and these Colorado um, craft company stamps by I think her name is Anita Jarum she is an illustrator these are perfect for watercoloring. And the beauty of these stamps as well, you don't need the die. These stamps lend itself to just two-dimensional stamping. Just stamp and watercolor and done. You don't have to, you know, have the die to pop up and all this stuff. So that's a cute little set. I just wanted to show you because it did come with it. But now we're on to clearance. Alrighty. First up, in my two orders, I got my two freebies. So I got a Sizzix cut and emboss set. I got some little dies. I got this little camera. I haven't even opened it, but nice freebie. I tell you, always double check that freebie in the cart. Second freebie. I think I told you guys about the um, butterfly. And I have another one. <laughs> but anyway, my free butterfly. First up, Lawn Fawn was in the clearance section. This die, I believe, was $5 from whatever the heck it was. Uh, some things were like, you know, 20 something dollars down to like $9. But this now, scrapbook.com's clearance, it's like, hello, 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 hello. Some of the things I saw, I already have, so I didn't bother to pick it up. I was like, gosh, no, Lawn Fawn will move like lightning. I have this stamp set called Winter Skies, and I was going to, you know, fussy cut it, because it's not that detailed, but the die was super duper ridiculous bargain, so I went for it. I love when dies go on clearance like this. This is the add-on for the Magic Picture Changer oven. Now, I will link what I got if it's still in stock. If you don't see, or I'll just put sold out. Once it's sold out, though, that's pretty much it. And then I also got this stamp set, Pick of the Patch which is so cute. You know I got it for the two little squirrels. Photopolymer stamp, lawn fawn. 
great price. I think seven dollars, or normally is fourteen ninety nine, maybe seven or six dollars or something. Something. This I wanted this past Christmas, and I didn't get because I was just like, you know, LDRS is great, but when you buy a bunch of their things, it's like, it's it's a real dent in the wallet. So, this little set originally is um, nine ninety nine. I'll show you now how much I got it at. And I believe it's still there. It's a set of trees. This is so beautiful. You just keep stamping them out for scene building. Super, super pretty. I watched a few of her videos. I, I, I tell you, I do watch her workshops on, um, on YouTube. Pine Tree Forest. Super cute. Got that. Next up. Oh, wait. Well, then let me continue with her then. This I also wanted. This alone, I believe, was 20-something dollars. I did not buy it at that now on clearance. And the city sidewalks. I love these two. So that's the stamps to create a whole scene. And these are photopolymer stamps as well. So you know that already is what makes the price go up. And then the coordinating die. So this was at a real deal. Super, super cute. Got that. Um, also, Avery L., I wanted this so bad, but I did, and the die, but I did not want to spend $40 on this. Now it's on clearance at scrapbook.com. Yay. <laughs> so got the Oh Tiny Tree. Yes, Oh Tiny Tree set. And this just so cute with the character building. You can either do this outdoors. You can do an indoor scene with it. I just think it's adorable. Then also coordinating die. This was like $25, I believe, something. Yeah, I did not pay that now. I think it was like nine. I'm telling you, that's more than half off. Super duper cute. They have a few, not a lot left. So I will link, like I said, what I did get and this. Now, I did buy this set. I did buy the stamp last year, I believe. Yeah because I already owned this. This is the boot to you. And what I had liked was that the die had cut out in here, but the die was just so crazy expensive. I, I think it was 27 or something. Now I paid nothing for it because I was waiting and just waiting from last year until now for this. Why this die is so great? This whole pumpkin cuts one piece. See that little bit that holds it together, which then you can use this like a house, like a pumpkin house, and then tuck all the little critters, anything on the inside, even their peekaboo pals. Come on. So I saw this was on clearance. I bought mine, yes, full price. But you can get the bow set, and this is all the examples, super duper cute, even a great way, even just one Halloween set. Of stamps and dies I think this one is is just super impactful because of the thickness here you could pop it up for dimension so you could have the pumpkin cut cut two layers of it you could kind of stack it up and have the you know have these little critters on the you know stacked on the inside to give it depth just super super cute next up I got one glimmer plate on clearance super clearance and this is the one with the, this is the glimmer, and then these are the dies. I tell you guys, and then I saw an example. I went on um, Spellbinder's YouTube just to see what this looks like because I'm not used to the whole glimmer thing yet. Like, this style is a little bit harder for me to work with, the, you know, laying it out perfectly on a card and centering and all that. But the dies with the flowers, and then this was, you know, really good. So I decided to go for it and I like the for you and then you could do all of these, you know, sentiments to go with it and you could and then then with the sentiments, I could just cut a strip. So that helps. That helps to bring down the learning factor, <laughs> the frustration factor. Next up, honeybee stamps. Now, honeybee stamps, they have I had this in my cart at honeybee stamps but I just didn't want to pay full price for it because this alone. But here on uh, scrapbook.com, it was nice and super affordable. I love the trees. I can use this 
for anything. I love the little the little um, deer, the bear, just everything about it. The only thing I probably don't really like is this, but I can switch brands. I love the little birds and everything, but I mean, now I got the stamps on sale plus the coordinating die. Yay! Clearance, actually, not even sale. Well, yes, yeah, sale, sale clearance. And also, I already owned it, but I wanted to show you, and this was this home from Honey Bee Stamps. That's on super clearance too. And this set is normally, I think, $16. I believe they have it for maybe half off or a little bit more than half off. So I will link this below because this is a really nice die set, three layer die set, okay? Um, next up and, oh, that's it. Yeah, see, yes, I didn't get a ton. I had this in my cart. I, last year, this, this came out, um, yeah, Christmas. And this was the huge mitten set that, that builds this box. So it even has the inner piece to build the box. Let me show you what I mean. Right there. You see the inner piece? That shows you all the die pieces. This was super duper clearance. This is a Biggs die. So for something like this, you have to have a machine, a die cut machine with a wide opening. Big shot. Spellbinders Platinum 6, Spellbinders regular size Platinum Machine. This will not work in a Gemini, Empress, I don't, um, yeah, my, my mind is going blank. But you need, you need to have the thickness because these are steel, this is a steel rule die. This is about almost three quarters of an inch thick. Because with this type of die, with a steel rule die, I can cut this out of chipboard, like here in the photo and felt, no problem, fabric, no problem. So in this example, they did this whole fabric felt thing or wool, it looks like wool, and chipboard. So that's the beauty of a steel rule die. But the regular price, I think this is almost 30. Yeah, and I got it for a bargain, bargain, bargain. This is the most cutest little snowman set, but you know, I didn't want to buy it at full price, so I just, let it go like i'm like no i'm not going to get it but now that i saw it on super clearance oh yes i i did go for it super cute little snowman He's about three three by two three by two inches super duper 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 cute again another 3d set can cut with and when i say chipboard i'm not talking flimsy chipboard i'm talking heavy extra heavyweight chipboard steel root dies will cut through that like butter so if you want to make um, snowman ornaments. It's easier to make something sturdy, thick, that can last year after year after year. Steel root dies are pretty much the way to go. If you're making like classroom projects for you know little kids and you know they're gonna be all rough with it but you want them to hold it for a while, again, chipboard. Chipboard will always give you more longevity and sturdiness than if you do cardstock. So that's an, another benefit of the steel rule and great price. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, there is one thing I saw in terms of the lawn fawn. I didn't buy it because I already have it. The, they have one or two slimline accessory dies. They had the slimline hillside, the one that goes like this with the stitching. Perfect for scene building. That was down $6 and I think it's usually $14.99 grab that if it's still available. I will link it because when I saw it, I was like, ouch, I bought that thing at full price and now it's on clearance. <laughs> so not only check out regular scrapbook.com, check out their clearance section. It's pretty good. Alrighty crafters. So until the next video, hope you find a few goodies like I did. And have you noticed Christmas is already coming out? I saw a photo play already releasing their Christmas papers. I'm like, hello, it's a little bit early, but it's not even Christmas in July, it's Christmas in, well, June. Okay, maybe. Maybe you buy it now and then you start in July. It's just a bit early for me. And then I saw the Halloween too. I'm like, come on, can I do some summer projects? <laughs> Alrighty, crafters. But check out the um, clearance section, all right? Until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.